welcome Kennedy. Um, we're glad to have you on board. So, uh, briefly introduce yourself and give a background of who you are. Hey, thank you so much for having me here. I'm so grateful to be here and I'm um, so grateful for the great work uh, that you're doing. I'm Kennedy Ongari. I'm a full-time data scientist at uh, Contrax AI and also uh, the deep learning uh, the AI ambassador to Kenya. Uh, what we're currently are uh, building and working on at uh, Contrax AI, one thing we do is uh, we train, we build solutions in AI and also provide professional consulting. We have a team in Kenya and in India. Currently, uh, we, um, <coughs> with my team in Kenya, we are partnering with uh, United Nations we have a project that uh, we're helping uh, them work on and also uh, when it comes to the planning the TI we heavily now are getting to uh, come up with a series of activities and uh, sessions to be able to strengthen and impact our communities um, matters to do data science machine learning and artificial intelligence yes so um, you are a student of uh, information technology at JKU Arts. Yes. Um, how did you transition into data science Great. Um, that's a good question. Uh, uh, for me, uh, when I, I joined, uh, I've always been passionate in IT. And um, by the time I was joining school, um, uh, I was having this excitement to explore the various fields uh, in data science, uh, okay, the various fields in uh, computer science. And um, at that point, uh, that's how I landed to my university, that's the JQuot. And uh, I was trying different uh, uh, tracks uh, from mobile to web also looking at the various communities that we have in school. And uh, to me, I felt uh, when I tried web and the various were not, um, was, I didn't feel that energy in me to give me the go-ahead to leverage tech to come up with solutions. And uh, it's at that point that I realized that I was quite excited in classes and, uh, <coughs> that were heavily focused on databases uh, and all that. So I found myself getting, uh, diving deep towards that direction, uh, getting to taking up courses in database management trying the various flavors of SQL, moving all the way to business intelligence. And um, again, playing around with data, playing around with data, and um, got to a point where uh, <clears throat> I got uh, to get a secure uh, business intelligence analyst internship role. And um, through that, um, I was lucky to get a team that, um, again, I'm one person who's always curious, trying to discover very many things. So. Um, at the end of the day, the team was like, Kennedy, you best suited to take up this career path. And uh, that's how, um, again, with a good background of uh, uh, playing around, manipulating data and building pipelines and all that, it was quite easy to transition. So, yes. And uh, from there up to now, uh, still in uh, playing around with data, but now more into the science and art of it. Yeah. So, in data science and the AI is generally an, a, a new field and uh, very many people are uh, trying to come into it, not really knowing where to land exactly. Um, what are some of the specializations in, in data science and how, how do they differ? Um, uh, you're getting to see that um, when uh, AI is a field, has uh, been quite in existence uh, for quite long, as uh, you look back all the way from 1970, uh, but uh, this is, uh, it's until now that uh, we're getting to see the disruption in the field. It's now that when we're getting to see that people are now getting to realize uh, the true value of data science. And all of this is being accelerated by the fact that right now we have too much compute power. We, we also in what we call uh, Industry 4.0. And uh, basically this means that uh, we are now in a data-driven economy. Each and every day, each and every second, we are generating data. And now that you have computation power, that means that we are now able to start thinking, how do we get to ride the wave of artificial intelligence? And uh, when it comes now to the question on, uh, um, yes, it's a new field that's not yet well defined as unlike other fields. And uh, <clears throat> the um, uh, AI, uh, we could uh, describe it at a high level overview is basically uh, <clears throat> the techniques that uh, we get to use uh, to build data-driven solutions that will uh, that are sm uh, that are smart and mimic human behavior. And uh, when it comes now to the various specializations, we're looking at what are the various aspects, what are the kind of tasks that human beings are doing. Like, uh, so one of the, uh, the specialization area that uh, uh, someone can focus on is uh, what we call natural language processing, because we're looking at each and every day we're generating textual data. How can we make best use of this textual data to come up with 
um, solutions around it because that's as uh, uh, earlier described uh, AI is uh, we're really coming up with solutions that are data driven again another quite uh, broad area that uh, we can also specialize in is computer vision because each and every day we're taking photos we have image data how can we make best use of this image data? Come up with data-driven solutions that uh, will be able to uh, um, utilize what we call machine learning vision. We train, so we train computers to be able to do much better because we said we want to come up with solutions that mimic human behavior. Also, again, we're getting to see that each and every day we're generating voice uh, or signals data. How can we best process these and come up with solutions? So that also uh, opens up another field of uh, audio processing, signal processing, and uh, we are really seeing solutions around it like if you look at here in Kenya we have uh, my voice is my password by Safaricom that's also another area that uh, uh, we can specialize in and uh, I would say those are the main broad areas that uh, we would start now thinking of in the various settings that we're in um, what kind of solutions can we build in whichever domain in whichever sector what kind of solutions can we build uh, leveraging on uh, the de depending on the kind of data that we have and uh, yes okay so it's uh, very impressive to see how you really started off as a, a data analyst intern and then you currently now um, a full-time junior data scientist at, at Conflux AI. So briefly, how has your role progressed um, through your data science career? Um, I would say my journey has been uh, quite an exciting one. Um, uh, fueled by again by passion because uh, this is something uh, from by the time I, uh, I came into the field I was so passionate I really wanted to know where do I fall what, what kind of impact which area do I want to dive into and uh, uh, my journey has been quite an, uh, full of uh, <clears throat> ups and downs but quite an exciting one and uh, full of um, uh, having me to uh, push myself full of also again of perseverance because again we're saying that the field is not yet well defined that uh, people are doing things their own way and i'm here that in a span of um, less than two years I've been able to at least get to start seeing myself somewhere in the field so uh, i would say it's more of uh, one what has really helped me is uh, one i had a sense of focus and purpose this is what i exactly want uh, to do even if i'm not so clear what how I, I uh, wanted to have it done and also getting a strong supportive system and uh, more so to that uh, I taking up um, <coughs> active roles in pushing myself and moving out there I believe that's what has really fueled and uh, pushed me to be able to be at where I'm at as of now and I believe uh, those are the same same traits that I will continue carrying forward as I continue diving deep in the field because I know this is the kind of impact that I want to create. So the next thing will be, can I get people who will help me scale or people whom we can work together? And um, bringing all those factors together, I believe that's what has helped and attributed to me. Um, yeah, being able to, uh, in a field where there's so much noise, at least to be able to maneuver my way through. Because you know, when you have a sense of purpose and focus, it's even easier to attract people to help you. It's even easier to even seek any kind of support. So yes, that's what has been quite uh, instrumental and uh, that's what has been able to help me maneuver through, yeah. So would you consider yourself uh, um, a generalist or a specialist? I would um, uh, <coughs> term myself as a specialist uh, uh, data scientist because for me I specialize in uh, machine learning in uh, BFSI, that is a banking, finance and insurance sector. And um, um, there has been this controversy, those of us who were diving into the field, that uh, should you start off as a generalist or uh, should you start off as a, a specialist? Uh, what I would say is uh, one thing that uh, we're saying that a generalist data scientist is basically someone who has just, um, what I would say, a, sneak peek, a surface level understanding of the various domains. Because uh, earlier we mentioned that uh, the various specializations within it we are looking at the various problems that we have across so that means we have very many problem domains and um, <clears throat> that means uh, as a generalist uh, you will not have much in-depth understanding of the various field you'll just have a surface level uh, what we'd call a jack of all trades because for you to become uh, <coughs> a generalist who is really good in a field it means you will have to spend and here you're talking of a beginner. Um, uh, a specialist, it's purely someone who is specializing, like uh, you've, uh, like in my case, uh, how I was able to quickly trans transit, uh, transition to being a specialist was because from the word go ahead, 
my sense of purpose and focus. This is what I, this is the kind of impact, this is the kind of field I want to move into. So when you start having that kind of conversation, this from your mind point of view, you now start becoming a specialist. But when you're coming into the field, you don't know, like, probably you just want to first gain the grounding and then figure out our point would call you a generalist up to the point where you will make a decision this is the path that i want to follow this is where i want to innovate and do my stuff but for me i'm a, a specialist uh, <coughs> data scientist focusing on machine learning uh, in banking finance and insurance sector yeah there is normally um, a confusion to uh, those who are just taking off in in the field as to uh, the two roles of machine learning.